Hey, what's up guys? It's Dill the Legend and I'm back from my break. I was just having like kind of a creative kind of thinking breakdown sort of deal like I just had no idea on what to make videos of, but now I'm back with a totally different um video and we're going to be reading green text, which is actually pretty funny today. So we're going to be reading some um really funny, I guess messed up uh, green text. So let's go. First story. Why did why was the six afraid of seven? Because seven, eight, nine, get it? Well, let's hear this story. So be me about a six out of ten. Just move into a new a new neighborhood and have no friends. Be outside mowing the lawn when random dog runs up to me. Look a Look up and see a 9 out of 10 is running after it. Help her get her dog back. Introduce ourselves. Become very good friends. Eventually begin dating. Fast forward about 2 months. New girl moves in. Eh, about a 7 out of 10. Wood boink. Try to be polite and introduce myself to new girl. New girl and I start to become friends too. Even though she seemed a little odd. Tell her I have a girlfriend can see that she is literally insanely jealous. Fast forward two more weeks. Start to see less and less of my girlfriend. And at the same time, new girl starts to become even more of a psycho bitch. Fast forward four days. Get random Facebook message from my girlfriend saying that the 7 out of 10 threatened to kill my girlfriend if she ever talked to me again. What the fuck? Dot JPEG. Fast forward one more week. Do not hear or see either girl since that message on Facebook. Start growing very worried. Random knock on my door. It's the cops. Shows me a picture of two girls asking if I know them. Say yes. Get even more worried. Cops tell me that 7 out of 10 committed suicide and remains of my girlfriend showed up in her stomach during the autopsy. What the hell is this story? Seven, eight, nine. There we go. Seven out of ten, eight, the nine out of ten, boys, and the six out of ten was scared of that seven. Oh boy. All right, now to our next story. All right, guys. So I am back, and we're gonna call this one the Pineapple Man. Okay. So, B me, B sixteen, new school, introduced to class. Meet guy who is an asshole. Let's call him shit gut. Shit gut tries to start bullying me, be an alpha and resist. Don't make many friends, don't need them. Notice shit gut bullies other kids. Decide to fuck him up. Figure where his locker is, wait until school is over. Follow him home from a safe distance, unseen. Mark down where he lives, GTFO. Find out he does hockey, figure out where his ice rink is, and what time he trains spend six months practically stalking that fuck making sure i don't get caught map out where he is at any time and at all times <clears throat> then proceed to phase two buy a pineapple on a day i get off school earlier than he does bike to his house and leave the pineapple at his door his parents aren't home for hours, seen by nobody. He tells people about the pineapple tomorrow. Nobody cares. Two weeks later, sneak a pineapple at the ice rink in the men's dressing room. People think he's making it up. Start buying a pineapple on a regular basis. Always have it ready when opportunity strikes. Hallway empty, pick his locker and leave a pineapple. His motorbike is unwatched. Leave a pineapple. He doesn't mention the pineapples to anyone anymore. Figure out where they keep his home spare key. Skip school. Sneak into his home while his parents work. Leave a pineapple on his bed. Here he's failing classes. His parents put up a security camera. I figure the blind spot and dodge that shit. Send him a fucking pineapple for Christmas through the mail from a fake address. He doesn't show up to school every day anymore. Don't think about why I do it anymore. It's just for shits and giggles now. Bombard the fuck 
with random pineapples every few weeks or two fucking years. School year ends. Finish school. Go to college like a boss. Come back home for the holidays. Here's someone from my old school had a panic attack at the grocery store. It's shit gut. Someone had left a fucking pineapple on the beer shelf. Now guys, <clears throat> that's two stories for today and two stories too many. And I hope y'all enjoyed. Do know I was reading this off of 4chan. So, yeah, um, don't get mad at me for cussing, because that's how these people wrote it. And, yeah, I hope y'all guys enjoyed uh, this new content. Tell me if you like it at all, because I kind of find it kind of funny, and I've been watching some on YouTube, and it's kind of funny. These stories, they're probably not true, but it doesn't matter. They're too funny anyways. So yeah, you should go ahead and leave a like on this video because boys, I'm back and yeah, I'm going to like just start spamming these videos because they're pretty easy to make and they're pretty funny as well, I think. So yeah, leave a like and please subscribe if you did enjoy and then you want to see more content like this and also leave a comment if you do not like these or if you have any suggestions or just want to be nice and tell me how much you like the video. So yeah. Um, I will see y'all guys in the next one. Peace.